Hi everyone, I'm using three different packs of cards today. I'll choose one from the messages from heaven from our loved ones, one from the crystal clear tarot, and one from our beloved archangels. So which cards do you feel drawn to? Because that will be your message. So for those who have chose the messages from heaven, I'm asking now for a message for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who has chose messages from heaven. And we have, now I have no more pain. And as we do transition, and we leave this earthly body. We leave our physical pain because this is in this physical body that is transporting our spirit around as we are in this earthly realm. But as we pass, we are free from this earthly body. We are free from all earthly worries. So regardless of how your loved one passed, whether it was a child, whether it was a husband, a wife, a mother, a father, for any family member, know that they no longer are in pain. You are seeing this message to put your mind at rest and as confirmation that they're free now. And this is a beautiful card bringing with it so much joy and your loved ones are around you, wanting, to, wanting you to know that they are with you, that they have so much love and gratitude for everything that you did and assisted them with. You went through challenges with them, faced challenges with them, and your loved ones coming through with so much gratitude for your strength and how you are making progress on your path because of the loss that you have gone through. You are able to really empathize with others which is broke, which has awoken a beautiful gift within you, a spiritual gift. You are now forever connected with your loved ones in spirit. So you will have that open line from the spirit realm coming through. And to listen, to listen to those thoughts that come in, that come in from nowhere, you'll suddenly get a memory and that is our loved ones your loved ones coming through saying remember this remember this memory and that is them coming in saying hello so know that even though there's been a parting of this physical spiritually they never leave us they're always around us and you are being assisted and you are so loved. And they are sending spiritual healing into your heart. So close your eyes and feel that love from your loved one. And know that they have no pain. Pain is a physical, it's in this physical realm doesn't exist in heaven it doesn't exist as we pass over when people pass over there's so much relief because they're met with their pets their animals 
their loved ones that are, are there to assist them and of course they're angels there's just the pureness of love so this is the message coming through for you you know that your loved one is at peace is at peace and is happy and is sending so much love to you and they will show you that they're around you with some confirmation after this reading and the card underneath this is I'm just a thought away which is what we've just been saying and she sat with a, a pet a dog it could be any kind of pet and which is confirmation of everything that we have just said that's just come through and they're sat there in happiness in that place of love and joy and the ultimate peace and it's far greater than anything we can ever imagine far greater so know that your loved one whether it's a daughter son or whoever there's so many coming through shining and sending their love to you so take a nice deep breath and feel that love so for those who have chose the crystal tarot asking for a message for the highest and greatest love asking oh sorry the look ones are still here um and the, there's a there's a father coming through there's mother coming through all coming through with so much love and for you to know that everything that you did every single thing that you did they are blessing you they are thanking you and they know how much you love them so please feel your loved one whether it is a husband a father a mother a child a son a daughter whoever you have passed who has passed know that they're with you now so okay thank you i'm asking now for a message for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video we have the page of cups and um, the page of cups is new love something new coming in something romantic a romantic relationship and especially with this trine with venus and mars it's an awakening and an activation of love this is also new spiritual gifts being activated so there's a lot of new beginnings going on for you with your love life with your with your spiritual development and everything is in beautiful and divine order that you have worked hard to come to this place to be here in this place of opening up to accept love now to open up to trust your gifts to trust the messages that you're receiving to trust the guidance the synchronicities that are appearing on your path this is a beautiful time of awakening for you on every level so open your heart feel the excitement feel that love within you because beautiful things are coming into your life now she is sat there in the full moon basking in the energies of the full moon she's in the water but the water's 
beautiful and still and calm and she is looking into her crystals in the water. So she is receiving activations from the water. Water old memory. And maybe with this card also I am getting the message to do crystal elixirs, to do put crystals around your glass of water because certain crystals cannot be placed in water. So if you place a glass of water and place crystal around it or place it on a crystal, it will receive the frequency. So whether it's rose quartz, especially with it being love. And you can actually place rose quartz in your water. It's safe to do so. Place it in your bath. Don't use any chemicals, and just the water and place rose quartz crystal in the water and that will bring that beautiful frequency of unconditional love helping you to raise and, and come into that beautiful alignment that is just waiting to step in. So beautiful message for you who chose the crystal clear quartz. And underneath is the, the Queen of Swords. So she is there with her butterfly and a sword. And she's focusing on the transformation her mind is clear, she's got that beautiful connection to her guides. She uses crystals to amplify her connection. Tanzanite is the card that associates with the Queen of Swords, helps to with the clairvoyance. So she is there connecting now, knowing that beautiful adventure is coming in to experience. She's traveled through the suit of the swords, which is very challenging, but she's come to this place now and she is cultivated and come into alignment and very focused. So wonderful things for you and underneath there is the king of swords so again this is the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together both on the same wavelength both connecting to the spirit the higher self spirit realm very spiritual very clear and they are energies, they are people that you can trust. So I'm asking now for a message from our beloved Archangels. So please, oh, there we go. We have Archangel Zadkiel. Archangel Zadkiel is the Archangel of forgiveness and he, he is on the violet purple ray and helps with Trans, uh, transformation and as we start to transform and alch alchemize old patterns we take the wisdom from them so then we become teachers but we're always learning so Archangel Zadkiel is stepping forward and asking that you you hold some amethyst and allow the am amethyst to transmute any emotions that are no longer serving you and it will transmute and alchemize into wisdom that brings the teacher. So you are on the path of a teacher, a spiritual teacher, a guide, who guides with integrity, who speaks from 
a place of deep wisdom and wisdom comes from experience so we can get all the wisdom from any book reading and 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 lots of people are photographic memories and they old that whatever they're reading but it's actually when you've experienced it you actually know and this is what this is around and this is why Archangel Zadkiel is standing forward to help guide you on your path as of a teacher whether they, that is being a Reiki master teacher whatever modality it will be some spiritual modality even working with children Archangel Zadkiel brings in the communication he brings in the the right vibration the words to use as we're speaking with children so there's a message here of letting go of the past taking the wisdom from everything that you have attained and teaching that wisdom being the empathic teacher the guide so what wherever you are on your path know that you are on the path of a, a teacher of a guide and you have Archangel Zadkiel who is bringing in the the awareness the awakening so thank you so much for listening and I wish you all a beautiful evening and God bless and thank you so much. God bless.